This is a demonstration of the advanced analysis, in this case of a counter movement jump. So we will open a example counter movement jump. We will just hide for the moment the individual left and right feet contribution there. So we've just got the total force displayed. We'll now right click on the graph to pull up the graph actions menu and click on open comparison. We'll select a comparison counter movement jump. So these are two counter movement jumps, one from an athlete who is highly powerful for the lower limbs. The other one is also an athlete, but not a lower limb athlete. And we can see their two force curves here. Next, we will align the two curves in time. So we'll just shift the comparison curve across so that it lines up with the original counter movement jump there. We will set the mass here and use the calculate from force to determine the velocity curves for these two trials. So we will now use the left mouse button, click and hold and drag across to select just the actual jump itself up until they leave the ground and select auto scale. So we can see those two graphs there. We'll just hide the velocity for the moment, just display the force. And you can see the difference in the two force graphs here where we have the takeoff point here. And then if we're looking back in time, we can see some very distinct differences between these two graphs. We see that there is a greater unloading or a lesser force here during the eccentric phase in the better jumper compared to the less capable jumper. We see that the peak force is higher for the capable jumper compared to the less capable jumper and is able to maintain the force throughout the concentric phase here with it only just dropping off towards the point of takeoff. Compared to the less capable jumper, we see here a lower peak force, but then we see this considerable dip here and a much lower force output through this phase of the concentric part of the curve. What we will now do is actually change from time base to a velocity base. We'll move the graph menu across. We'll now slide upwards and to the right so that it scales all of the data. And this produces the typical force velocity curves, in this case for a counter movement jump. This is an excellent method by which to compare two different athletes or to compare the same athlete, perhaps pre and post injury, or when tracking performance improvements through a conditioning program. So comparing these two different athletes, some notable features here. They initiate the jump here with an eccentric dip. And the first thing we see is that the more accomplished jumper has much greater unweighting. In other words, their eccentric force is much lower here than the less accomplished jumper. In this phase of the jump, we see that the velocity of the accomplished jumper is much more negative. In other words, they are dropping much faster into the eccentric phase to generate much higher impulse for the subsequent concentric phase. We then see as they then slow the eccentric phase, at this point here, they are changing from eccentric to concentric and we see a much higher force output throughout this eccentric phase in the more accomplished jumper compared to the less skilled. And then as they move into the concentric phase here, so this is now concentric velocities, we see how this very high quality jumper is able to maintain very well their force output even though their muscles are starting to contract quite rapidly and they maintain their force right up until this point here where they actually take off. The less accomplished jumper, you see they meet, they do not achieve as high a peak force here. And we also see as they start to accelerate upwards, we see this dip in force output as their neuromuscular system is unable to generate as much force as their muscles are shortening rapidly.
and then we see at this point here a much higher peak velocity achieved by the more accomplished jumper than the less accomplished. And so it's through these graphs we're able to do a very detailed analysis of various movements, both uh, strength movements and also ballistic movements, by comparing these force-velocity curves.